video from Adam K. It's the one Adam K here. And I was wondering, since you've worked with both Owen Hart and Mr. Fuji, which one was the bigger river? Um, and also, did they ever get together to try and pull ribs on other people? Or maybe Owen Hart or Mr. Fuji would try to pull ribs on each other? Okay, well, I think, number one, Owen and Fuji were both smart enough not to rib each other. I think Owen had so much respect for uh, uh, for his seniors in the business that he would not have tried that with Fuji, and he probably would have put Fuji's over like crazy if Fuji had done it. They never teamed up. That might have been like matter and antimatter colliding. The world would not have been able to handle it. <laughs> Fuji had slowed down quite a bit, you know, because he he's, uh, it was older at the time, and I guess he's in his 70s now, so he wasn't doing it. But in his day, Dennis Condry told me when Fuji wrestled in the Alabama Territory, I don't know who it was, but... This guy comes out of his apartment and gets in his car and starts turning his car or start his car one day. Nothing. Won't turn over. Nothing. He gets out, opens the hood. He's looking at the parking lot. There's no engine. Fuji paid somebody to have somebody come and take the engine out of the guy's car and then paid to have it put back in. It's like a thousand dollar fucking rib just to get the pop out of the guy. So Fuji was big time. Owen, Owen shit was funny and was more, you know, comedic, but, but Fuji's was sharp. I mean, I've, I've heard a few. Um, well, uh, Mark Rand, and also Guitar Dude, asked what your favorite Owen Hart rib was uh, that was either played on you or somebody else. Well, okay, and then, then Eric Smith, we're going to follow up on my favorite Owen Hart rib, was not even a rib, but he had such a reputation. We're sitting, once again... You'd get to TV at noon, and there'd be nothing going on until 8 o'clock bell time or whatever, except promos, local promos we used to do all day long. So we'd be sitting in a fucking room or in the room next to the promo room. So I'm sitting there one day, and in comes Owen and Davey and, and, and from the next room, and they're carrying this red phone. It looked like the Commissioner Gordon Bat phone, right? Hey, uh, is this Alfred, you know? And it's in the wires out. I think it's certainly the wire. It's not plugged in anything. It's just around the corner, around the door there. But he said... Stu wants to talk to you. What? Okay, now, they'd been doing the, the angle where supposedly Sean was after Diana, and, and it was going to end up that, she, that it was all a plot by the bulldog that Diana, his bulldog's wife, had been trying to hit on Sean, and then that's where I used the word fornicator for the first time on WWF, maybe the last, WWF television. Shawn Michaels, you tried to make this woman break her sacred marital bounds. You tried to touch her in her most private of places. You have defiled her with your evil words and deeds. You, Shawn Michaels, you are a fornicator. Well, actually, what happened was they get started where supposedly Shawn is after Diana or whatever. And so anyway, Owen comes in with, with Davey, and they got the phone, the red bat phone. Stu wants to talk to you. What? Stu Hart. Is it, hello? Is this uh, Jim Cornette? Uh, yeah, no, of course, Bruce Pritchard does one of the better Stu Hart. I mean, everybody did Stu Hart, right? But, but Bruce does one of the better Stu Harts. I'm thinking it's fucking Bruce. He's going to be around the fucking corner. So I'm like, uh, yeah, Stu, uh, what are you doing? Uh, just wondering why that uh, uh, you're doing this thing with Diana, making her look like a whore. You know, she's making it, it's rough on the, the kids, and uh, you know, it makes her look like a whore. And uh, she's got, to, I said, well, you know who it is, don't you? Hey, no, it, it, uh, Vince had control of, oh, no, it's, it's that Bruce Pritchard. You know, he's one of those fucking preverts. You know, he goes to the adult bookstores, he's wearing the raincoat, he's doing the five-knuckle shuffle, as he, he reads the smut. Everything with him is about sex and smut and dildos and hookers and everything. That's, uh, this was all his idea. Well, I guess I'm going to have to talk to uh, Vince about this. I didn't know that about Bruce. So, uh, yeah, it's all his fault. Anyway, so we have just talked for like five minutes, right? I'm thinking, when's he going to come to the fucking point? As soon as I hang up, I said, who the fuck was that? And right then, Bruce Pritchard walks in from this room, not the room that the phone corded. He said, that was Stu. Owen said, that was Stu. That was my dad. Oh, I think I just, Bruce, I think I just told Stu Hart you're a fucking pervert. You know, anyway. So it wasn't a rip, but it was a rip. Wonderful.